Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to give you a six months Flutter roadmap, which can help you in your Flutter journey. So before we move to that roadmap, let's see uh, what is Flutter and let's see some of the features of Flutter and where to start learning Flutter. So this is a very basic question that beginners uh, face, where to start Flutter, right? So I'm going to give you a proper roadmap. I'm going to give you some steps. We are going to see features of Flutter. But let's first see a simple Google definition of Flutter. So it is an open source UI software. You can also contribute to Flutter code base. That's why it's an open source UI software. And you can create UIs for so many operating systems. You can create UIs for Android phones, iOS phones, Linux, Mac, and even web, right? So you can using Flutter web, you can even create UIs for, for web using the same code base. You have to write only once and that will be applicable in all these operating systems. So that's a very beautiful thing. Now let's move to the next slide that is, you need to believe, you must believe that Flutter is simple. If you will make things complex, they will be complex. If you'll believe that this is simple, it will be very simple for you. Flutter is very simple. You will have a file for, you will have a very good pro project structure. It will be structured as uh, these files will be for UI, these files will be for logic, these files will be for state management and like that. So it is very simple to understand. When you will be working in a company, it, all, it will also be very useful for you to understand someone else's code, right? So you need to believe that Flutter is simple, okay? So now what are some remarkable features of Flutter? So it supports hot reload and hot restart. So if you will be working in Android Studio with the uh, native development with Java or Kotlin, for you, if you make a change, you have to restart the app. But in Flutter, you can use a hot reload, but this same feature is in React Native also. So I'm not against React Native. I haven't worked with React Native, right? So that's why I don't know much about React Native. React Native and Flutter are both equal. I don't think that Flutter is much way better or React Native is much way better than the other one. They both are equal. They are like pizza or pasta. Whatever you like, you can go with that. I uh, I, I like Flutter, so I, I started learning Flutter, right? So it is not like that any one of them is better or it's like pros and cons. It's not like that according to me, right? So develops efficient and high performance applications. So there are so many applications running, even Flutter is used in making Google Pay, right? So it is a cross-platform app development. Using the same code base, you can uh, make iOS, Android, web, both all the three things, right? And the same feature is in with React Native also, right? Then high widget library, you will see that so many packages are available on pub.dev. So using those packages, you can create so many beautiful UIs, right? They are already coded, you just need to import in your uh, project and you can use them. So that's a very beautiful thing. That means Flutter community is growing day by day, right? Then cost and time efficient. Flutter is free, Flutter is time efficient. It is very easy to run the apps. It takes very time, it takes very less time to uh, show your changes, right? So that's a very beautiful thing. Then the last thing it uses OP concepts. OP concepts, we, every one of us have learned OP concepts in even from even schools, right? In colleges also we learn OP concepts. So Dart, which uh, which bags Flutter, which is a language used in Flutter, is an OOP language, right? So that's also a good thing. Okay, so where to start? So that's the only question which beginners get when they start learning a new thing, new technology, uh, to be most uh, more more precise. So in this video, I'm not going to tell you whether you should uh, go with a paid course or you should start with uh, YouTube. I will tell you a proper roadmap, right? You need to follow that roadmap whatever from wherever you learn flutter it will be easy for you either you refer to free resources or you refer to paid resources it will be very easy for you if you follow this roadmap so let's start with that so it's just a matter of six months in this six months or after this six months or during this six months i can guarantee that if you follow this roadmap if you follow if you will be disciplined in learning flutter you will get an internship and after doing a three month six month internship you will get a job in app development field using flutter right so i followed this roadmap uh, it's about eight months i have started learning flutter and i've al already built around 150 plus i've already published around 150 plus videos on my youtube channel regarding flutter right 150 or 180 so it just takes six months to be at least reach to an intermediate stage in flutter right so let's go to the next slide that is first month so in your first month you just need to code the user interface you don't need to worry about the logics. You don't need to worry about the uh, databases, then architectures, project structure. Just make a simple file, home.dart or any other file 
and just start coding the UI. You need to have a good knowledge about UI after this one month, right? So what are the different different applications or projects you can do in your first month? So you can make a simple login sign up page. You can make a profile page. You can make Instagram UI and all these tutorials are already available on YouTube for free, right? Not on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is having 30 days, 30 concept of Flutter series that you can follow. Uh, it is having some projects like uh, currency converter, like a weather application, like to do application or movie database application using APIs, tech news application. They are there, but I have not built uh, you, uh, tutorials on Instagram, UI, WhatsApp, UI, Netflix, but they are already available on YouTube. I have followed these tutorials and I got a good knowledge about UI, how to code the UI in application development, right? So these, you can take a screenshot of this, please, uh, so that you should refer to this application. These seven applications you can build in your uh, first month. Like they are not containing any database. They are not containing any logic. They will be just simple UIs. You just need to connect the UIs. You need to connect the widgets, components, containers, sized box, any, or any other widgets like rows and columns like that, right? So this is the task for you for your first month. Let's move on to the second month, what you can do. So in your second month, you need to start understanding the Dart language. You need to start understanding the logic behind what is happening, right? Let's say you are making a calculator app. So how can you code the uh, addition function? How can you code the subtraction function, multiplication function, division function in Dart, right? So using the maths library, you need to import that library. You need to write a function, right? So that you need to do. So these are the four things that you need to, that you must do in your second month that is wireframing and paper planning. So you need to, okay, let's say you are making a calculator app. So, okay, so take a paper, uh, draw a screen. In that first screen, there will be a splash screen, which will say your logo or company name or motive of the company. Then in the next screen, there will be a simple calculator. The simple text field will be there where people will be entering their numbers. Then there will be rows, columns. In those rows and columns, there will be buttons plus minus where you should keep it. So that is called paper planning, right? You are planning your application. You are planning your complete project on a paper. Then next thing is wireframing. So you need to connect these uh, screens, right? So in calculator, there will be only two screens, but in a to-do application, there can be three screens: splash screen, home screen, then add a new to-do screen, right? So in that you need to connect these screens. So whenever you will be coding the app, you just need to refer those wireframes and you can uh, code it directly. Right. So in this second month, you need to learn these three, uh, these five things that is wireframing, paper planning, writing the functions, then calculator and stopwatch app. These are the two examples that you can build. Then to do app without cloud database. You can just store the to do's in a list or in a dictionary and you can, you don't need to use the cloud database in the second month. Then next thing is understand the Dart language concepts, async and await. So why do you understand? Why do you uh, use this async and await wherever there is a delay in your function there you need to use async and await so these are the things that i wanted to tell you for your second month you can also take a screenshot for this and now let's move on to the third month that is your database so firebase is a database by google flutter is also by google so it is very very easy for you to it will be very much easy for you to integrate firebase with flutter you can go to flutter fire that is an official website of documentations where you will be learning all the features of Firebase using Flutter, right? So, and in Fire, in database, if I talk about in Firebase, we have Firebase authentication, then you have cloud databases, and you have real-time databases, you have storage, you have a lot of features and that you can start exploring in your third month. So the five things that you must do in your uh, Firebase week, uh, Firebase month, is that you can build an application with login and sign up, proper Firebase authentication, then a to-do app using cloud database, then a chat application, an e-commerce cart, where user will be able to add the products in the cart, and those products should be uploaded to your cloud database, right? Then a social media posting. A user will be able to pick an image from the gallery. He will be able to add a description, click on the upload button, and that complete information will be added to your database. So this will be your task for your third month, right? Where you will be connecting Firebase with Flutter and exploring it. I hope I'm clear. You can take a screenshot. 
let's move on to the next month that is your fourth month and in this fourth month you need to start exploring the application programming interfaces that is apis so what is an api let's you are making a let's say you are making a weather application you will not be having any weather data right that weather data will be available on internet and some websites so that data you need to call you need to import in your application that can be done using apis so now it will be your task to explore the apis so different apps that you can build is your weather app tmdb api that is the movie database you can uh, import the data of uh, movies tv shows uh, then uh, trending shows and all that you can uh, put in your application the tutorials on my channel are available for tmdb api and tech news api uh, that that is not an api that is a news api i have called the app as tech news application that is a news application for technical news so that i have built then currency converter is all already available in my youtube channel all those videos link i have given in the description right spinnaculer api is a kitchen api or a, a food api you will be getting information about recipes then you can use these things create models for rendering the json data so whatever data you will be getting from the api that you need to render in your application for that we need to create the models so that you need to keep in mind and start building those then start learning about provider state management also right so this is a type of state management that you need to start learning in your fourth month so let's move on to the next month that is a fifth month and here you will be making your own backend start learning adequate start learning uh, flask you can build uh, apis using flask and you can use those apis in your applications right i prefer flask over django because i feel that flask is much easier than django but it's totally up to you you can build your apis in anything it's not a uh, compulsory that you can it's not compulsory that you have to build api in this thing only or in that thing only so by making your own backend you can create any kind of app let's say you want to make a machine learning app so using flask api or any other backend you can use that ml model but which you have built make a flask api for that and use that data in your application and in this fifth month only you need to also put an eye on flutter web because we need to learn flutter web too so that we can use the same code base to build to build ios android and web so in your fifth month it will be your task to explore the backend using dart or any other language and flutter web so this will be your task for fifth month moving on to the next month which is going to complete your flutter journey for beginner stage or intermediate stage is learning about clean architecture i'm not telling that you need to be pro in clean architecture in your six month but start exploring it start learning about block pattern right because these are the things mvvm architectures or clean architectures are the things which are used in companies when they are building some application projects so this is the thing that you need to have actual actually just need to have an idea about these things before going for an interview right if you are applying for a flutter job application at fresher stage or a beginner stage or internship stage then you just need to have an idea about state managements right project structures clean architectures mvvm architectures block patterns provider state managements getx libraries right just need to have an idea so these things you need to cover in your 6 month right so i hope i am clear and all those tutorials about flutter which i have built i have around 44 or 45 videos covering all the projects and 30 videos about 30 days 30 concepts of flutter series all those video links are in the description you can check that out i hope i was clear i hope i gave you something important essential in this video if you want to follow me on instagram you can do it on this handle i post amazing uh, factual things or um, amazing content i post on my instagram channel you can post it out and if you want to learn any technical skill in hindi then you can follow algorithm.co.in and that's a very wonderful website or startup that we are building to build or to share the knowledge about technical content or any other content in hindi so that we can help the uh, indian indian students or uh, neighboring country students right so i hope i was clear i hope uh, you liked this video so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot